button right here. Got camera. OBS recording. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. I know it's been a long time. I kind of had the quarantine blues, as a lot of you guys are calling it. I've been really on lockdown. It's not really just that. It's also I was really burnt out on YouTube, on making videos, on making beats, on everything. I just needed a, a, a time away from social media in general and just to kind of collect myself. For the past few weeks, I've been just relaxing, enjoying life, and just getting some stuff done around the house and all kind of stuff like that and some back-end business stuff. But now I'm back with another video and we're going to start off really good today. So today we're going to talk about RC 20 and is it worth it in 2020 now you're probably thinking yourself why am i talking about rc20 what's the point of rc20 well rc20 in the past few weeks i've seen getting a lot more resurgence now that it's a little bit cheaper it's still going to sell like every other month it goes on sale for like 50 to 60 percent off also i think splice now has a pay-as-you-go plan so therefore you know a lot more people are going to be getting rc20 and also with all these lo-fi plugins out there is rc20 still the go-to i mean it's still the one to get over all the other ones out there i mean i don't know i mean personally i mean there's so many lo-fi plugins out there it really doesn't matter but hey we're gonna look at rc20 and you know i'm gonna go over overview i never really did a full review of it i'm not gonna do it in this video but i will show you some sound demos give you my thoughts about it and hopefully you guys will cop i'm trying to make it ease my way back into the making video so there it is so let's jump inside fl studio and take a look at rc20 so here we are inside fl studio i got this beat pulled up right now working on something like a, a pac-man trap type beat so i'm gonna play the beat real quick then i'm gonna go over rc20 and then we're gonna play it with some of the sound examples so you can hear exactly what's it doing so here's the beat real quick before any rc20 So got some nice pads, got a nice little Pac-Man type ARP sound, and I got some crazy 808s in there. So yeah, but now we're gonna start looking at RC20 and seeing what it actually can do. So here's RC20 pulled up right now, as we can see. I got it pulled up on my Electric X, that's my Pac-Man sound, so I'll mute that in just a second. But let's go over RC20 overview, and then you know, so you know it's each individual thing it does before you know we get to actually making a sound and making a color with it. So as we see, it's made up of three different parts. You have the first part, which basically is your preset browser. You click here, has a ton of presets to get started with. It's great to go through them and kind of see the capabilities of rc20 you also make your own user presets and all that good stuff as well probably can download some I'm not really sure with that but that's what it is you also have the magnitude slider which basically to me is like a wet dry knob basically it's going to take all the parameters that you turned and you remove inside rc20 and it's going to you know move them all together so you can have less of the effect or more of the effect so it's great you can overdo it and overcook your sound and you can bring it back with a magnitude slider or if you did a little bit you actually bring it up if you got to start the other way so it just depends on how you use it pretty cool next you have each of your different modules there are six in total from noise wobble distortion digital space and magnet what they each do is kind of self-explanatory but i'll go through each one each of them right now so we got your noise is basically like you know your vinyl crackle your your tape crackle cassette tech crackle all that as you can see it has different types of uh, noise so that's great unfortunately i don't see white noise on here doing no there's no white noise that's weird but anyway you guys you make white nose easy so you got that you have different controls for your nose your nose your nose no your noise like shape taping the tone of it and all that so i'll just show you by pulling the slider up should be able to let me just solo this and then so i can take that and i can shape it and make it more brighter Or darker depending. Like I said, you got your you know percentage knobs or how much of the noise you want. You got follow tone and all that good stuff right there. And you got this flex control, which basically adds some organic nonlinear uh, faction. So basically, it's like a randomizer for each of these as well. So that's kind of cool to play with. So definitely play around with that flux right there. So next we got the wobble, which is basically your tape wobble and flutter. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, you get the little. So you know self explanatory right there you got your rates for each of them and your stereo mix and stuff like that and you can be more wow or more flutter pretty cool right there i wish there was an individual but you know it is what it is next you have the distortion basically it's just different form of distortion from you know you got tube the iron to crunch the heavy to zap the air so So different type of, you know, distortion right there. And you can focus on what frequencies it mess with as well. Pretty dope. Digital bit reduction. Pretty simple splantor. Really 
really dope right there. And I, you know, also automating these things would be really great to get some cool stuff. And you got your bits and your rate right there as well. Space, reverb, simple. Add a little bit of ambience and character to your sounds. Of course, you know, you gotta love that. And your magnet would be kind of your wearing your flutter. So basically the age of the sound itself. So, you know, it gives dropouts and stuff like that. So to give kind of a real age feel to it. So pretty dose preset explanatory. Your last little bit down here would be your input output, of course, with your width controls. And also a simple little EQ that has, you know, a little bit of filtering on both the, uh, low end and the high end and then like a little tone shape right here kind of like a tilt shift type of eq so it's pretty simple in this overall design but it's very powerful because like i said combining all these and different effects and all that you can get a wide variety of effects like i said this is a color plug-in so you're supposed to be you know getting some different colors and tones let's go ahead and start dialing some stuff on this side and another one of my sounds in my beat and i give my final overview so let's actually you know make a sound so here we go Okay, so this is before and after that, before the sound. Pretty simple, but I'm gonna bring back the mat too, just a little bit on this. And to me right there, it just adds a little bit more color to it, gives it a little bit more low fineness and makes it a little bit more wider and bigger also. So it's a really good effect. So I just mess around with some knobs right there and really got a good sound. Let's move on to another sound and then try it again. So this is my chipset plugin. I already got a few plugins on here already. So this is what the sound sounds like. And now we need to make it a little bit more lo-fi. So let's go ahead and dial in something right here as well. Go ahead and before. Add two down a little bit.
I mean, just with that little bit right there, you have a completely, you know, just a nicer sound, just sounds more full and more alive, so. Now it sounds like some lo-fi dark trap type stuff. So what do I think about RC20? In my opinion, it is probably the easiest to use and it's really great for sample creation. I know there's a ton of lo-fi plugins out there, new, old, cheap, expensive, good, bad. I mean, there's so many options out there. I use several different lo-fi plugins and stuff like that, but to me, RC20 is the one that I usually go to first. And then if I can't get the, and then I kind of build my base color with this and then I use something else like vinyl or, uh, sketch cassette or DAW cassette or VHS or, you know, I got so many different ones out there, you know, and just kind of build upon that. But RC20 is usually always going to be one I'm going to start with. If I can't get it with there, then, then I start looking at other plugins. And like I said, for the fact that I say it goes on sale every other month, for like 50, $60, 60% off and all that. And right now I said plugin boutique, not plugin boutique, the splice has it going for the page you go plan. I mean, you can't really beat RC20. I'll leave links in the description below for all these. In my opinion, RC20 is still a very relevant plugin in 2020, and you'd be dumb not to pick it up. So, yeah, go get it. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoy. Like always, your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different. Not motivated by the money, but like, comment, subscribe, and views your favorite nappy headed producer. Sorry I've been gone forever. Hopefully, I'll be here to stay and won't be messing up and won't be taking forever to make videos again. So, bear with me. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. And I got a bunch of stuff coming later this week and the weeks to come. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm out. Yeet.